There's some rumors, some rumors and some myths that I want to debunk. Everyone's saying that you could make $900 per day only working two hours per day. And I'm here to tell you that it's bullshit. Not only is it bullshit, but you shouldn't even strive for this. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because I was talking to uh, some potential clients in Messenger and they were saying, everyone's saying that I could work two hours per day but she was frustrated because she's found that she spends almost all of her waking energy thinking about marketing. And I wanna be the one to actually share some truth with you and tell you that that is a good thing. The fact that you were spending all of your waking energy thinking about marketing and how to get better at it, that is a good thing. So here's what all of these like false gods, false prophets, right? These gurus are saying that you're going to be able to do. And they're setting this expectation, which is setting people up for failure. And they're saying that, oh, you can work two hours a day. You could just learn this stuff. You can be brand new and just work two hours per day and then make $900 every single day. And here is the truth. The truth is, if you were just learning this stuff, you actually have to get good at it to be able to make $900 per day while you're only working two hours a day. Not like really, you don't even have to get good. You have to get really good. You have to get really good to be able to do that. This means that you're going to have to develop some skill. You're gonna to have to develop some skill and there's no shortcut around becoming skillful at something. Being able to get sales online is a skill. Being able to get people into your funnels, being able to persuade the right people to take action, it's a skill. Being on video, like what I'm doing right now, it's a skill. Being able to communicate, it's a skill. Posting content, all of, the, all of these are separate skills. And when you develop them and you refine them and you hone them, then you can string them together to be able to have them work in unison. So here's what I want you to imagine. I want you to imagine this scenario. There's two people. They both want to become signed musicians, right? They play the guitar. And actually they don't play the guitar yet. They both just got a guitar on the same exact day and they both have the end goal of becoming signed musicians. Now person A, the first person, we'll call him Morty, right? Morty gets his guitar, doesn't do any training videos, doesn't spend his time watching training videos because, okay, both of these people only have two hours per day to be able to practice and be able to play and get better. And so person A, Morty, doesn't watch any training videos whatsoever, just has his two hours and decides to play the guitar for two hours and just try to play the guitar for two hours every single day. Person B, uh, we'll call person B, Ben. Ben has two hours, but he decides to spend an hour and a half every day watching guitar videos, watching things about the pentatonic scale and different chords and just watching all this content, learning, cramming all this information into his brain, and then only spending 30 minutes, the last 30 minutes, actually playing his guitar. Out of those people, which do you think are going to, which person do you think is going to progress and become more skillful at playing the guitar at a faster rate? The person who's watching all these videos about how to play the guitar or the person who's actually doing it? Now, the reason why I share this example is because most of the people that I talk to that are feeling like they're stuck, they're trying to only work two hours per day and they're like, I'm not making $900 per day yet. Most of them are spending those two hours watching videos of other people telling them things that they should do. They spend their two hours watching videos and then maybe they go do something for five minutes, 10 minutes, 30 minutes. And then they, the next day they watch a bunch of videos and they're like, I need to get my mindset right. I gotta watch these mindset videos. I gotta watch this video. I gotta watch that video. If that's what you're doing, you are being Ben. Now you can totally make $900 a day working two hours a day if you're spending that entire two hours doing the most important thing that brings in sales.
I know that like I'm kind of passionate in this video because it's mind boggling to me. I used to do this. That's how I, that's how I know this. And, and I didn't start getting results until I started saying, fuck all these videos, fuck all this training. I'm just like, I'm doing stuff. I'm doing stuff now and I'm spending my time doing stuff. And, and the beautiful thing about this is once I started doing that, I started realizing where I was really deficient. And then I could start watching specific trainings to help with the things I'm deficient in. It gave me context to really understand, okay, what are the things that I need to focus on? The reason why I'm sharing this, it's funny because like I help people with sales. So this is actually like not in my benefit, not in my benefit to share this, but it's beneficial for you. So the person who spends 100 days sending 100 messages to people every day. If you send 100 DMs to people every single day for 100 days to try to get them to buy a product or a service, the person who does that is going to know way more about sales than the person who watches an hour of sales training every day for 100 days. Like, period. And that's because we gain skills through the doing not from the watching, right? We're watching training videos. We're not gaining any skills doing that. We're maybe like developing an intellectual understanding, but our skill development is what's going to bring in revenue. That's it. Doesn't matter how much you know in your head, there's plenty of people out there with million dollar ideas. We've all, you know, I don't know how many people that I've talked to that said, I had the idea for Uber before Uber became Uber. But, I, but it's like, yeah, well, like ideas, and intellectual understanding don't do anything. It's skill development and action. It's like, who cares if you have the idea for Uber? You didn't do anything with it, so you didn't create Uber, right? It's the same thing here. And so um, I just encourage you to just take some freaking action. And if you don't know what action to take, I have a community that will show you exactly what to do. Um, this isn't a plug for that, but it's free. I give all that stuff away. And, uh, and you can join that, um, or not, it's up to you, right? But here's the other thing that I really wanted to share with this, right? If you're so hungry for results and you're upset that the two hours that you're spending per day isn't getting you there, number one, make sure that you're actually spending the two hours really going through and taking action instead of just watching videos for those two hours. But number two, Spend more time. You know, when I developed these skills, this is just what I did. When I developed the skill of sales and messaging, I literally stopped selling other people's products and I stopped like growing my own brand. And I got a job as a sales rep. And I did this on purpose. I knew like, okay, I'm taking a step back from what I'm doing so that I can just do sales, messenger and sales all day, every day. And I did that for seven months. I worked 10 hours a day, five to six days per week in Messenger, on sales calls, all day, every day, because I knew that that's what would develop my skill in that area. And I knew that that's what I was deficient in because I understood video, I understood content, I understood marketing, I understood funnels, but I knew that like, oh, like my sales suck and I suck at doing them. So I went and did that. And because of that, it's like now I help people with sales because I developed that skill. I spent the time. And I could have, I could have just done sales on my own for like a couple hours a day for like five years and gained that same experience. But instead what I did is I, I shortcutted the amount of time because I, I condensed it, right? So you can do that too. You don't have to spend two hours a day or an hour a day to develop a skill and have it take you a year to really be good at it. You could just say, this is what I'm doing like for five hours a day, six hours a day, eight hours a day on top of your job, right? You can go to work and get off work at five and say from five to nine, Monday through Friday, this is what I'm doing. I'm developing these skills. And don't look at it like I'm doing this so I can get sales right now. Look at it like I'm doing this so that I can become skillful in this area so that future me can get sales, no problem. And when you look at it like that, everything that you're doing, every amount of progress that you're making is a win.
So I hope that helps you. See you in the next one.